it's a lot of fucking game. Said old world game plays a lot of fucking games. Hey everybody, it's the Old World Gamer, and I'm coming back to you guys with yet another Collection Builder episode, but today I'm going to be going through my GameCube games, so I guess I'll get right into it, and because I do have quite a few of these, and yes, a lot of them are going to have EB uh, sticker tags on them as well, so yeah, anyways, uh, first we got WarioWare Incorporated, which is, it says Mega Party Games, the game is kind of weird, I don't know, I couldn't get much fun out of it. Next we have, whoa, I'm, I'm a little close, here we go, Luigi's Mansion. Uh, my girlfriend played this one the most and uh, she finished it. I still haven't played it much, I should probably do that. I could do it as a blonde LP I suppose. Next we have the all popular Super Mario Sunshine. A lot of people are doing that this summer. And uh, it's a fun game. Uh, Paper Mario, another series that I haven't really done yet, Paper Mario series, and that's because, well, my girlfriend plays it, and stuff that my girlfriend plays, I usually just watch, and then I don't want to play it because I'm kind of, you know, helping her along the way as well, so it uh, makes me feel like I'm kind of playing the game. And most recently, I bought this, I'm sure you guys seen this in a different collector, uh, collection builder episode, it is Super Smash Bros. Melee, everybody loves the fucking Smash Brothers series. Uh, let's see, what do we got next? We have Mario Superstar Baseball, and I still haven't played this too much. Uh, I should probably take the time to play it at some point, uh, a little bit more than I did, I don't know, I just couldn't get into it. But uh, again, I should take the time to do that. Um, let's see, we got Mario Golf next. I played this quite a bit actually, uh, my camera's, there we go. Sorry, I'm a little bit shaky here. It's pretty early in the morning. I woke up at 5, which was like two hours ago, but yeah. Anyways, Mario Golf, Toadstool Tour. Uh, a lot of fun. If you guys uh, like these little fun games or whatever, like the, I guess, golf games and stuff and, and the Mario Sports type games, you won't be disappointed with the golf. Believe me, I fucking love it. Uh, next we have Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube. Uh, there we go. Just trying to make sure you zoom out and out. Oh, there we go. We'll get my, some of my sock in there, too. I'll just put it here. Uh, but, yeah, I played the shit out of this. I got everything unlocked. I, I, I pretty much 100% of this game is as much as you can say 100% of it, I guess. Uh, another game that I haven't played much of, Super Mario Strikers. But uh, when I was... Yeah, I was looking through some people's uh, videos, like Raza Delta and I think he was the one who was playing Super Mario Strikers and he pretty much made me want to go play this so I'm probably gonna start playing this soon and I may even do an LP of it myself sometime because well why not oh yeah now I do have almost this entire series <laughs> Mario Party 4 okay I'm just gonna leave that there I'm not gonna say too much about it because most people know about the Mario Party games Mario Party 5 Mario Party 6, uh, there we go, and Mario Party 7, all for the GameCube, and if you have a lot of, you know, friends coming around and hanging over and stuff, those are like super fun games to play, uh, you should definitely check those out uh, if you haven't played those yet. Uh, another one, uh, again, this is the one that my girlfriend played a lot of, is Crash Nitro Kart, and I gotta say, it's actually a fun looking kart game, it was well done, and by all means, if you like any of the like Mario Karts, or like, was it Mod Racers or anything like that, go play Crash Nitro Kart, you won't be disappointed by that either. Next, well, everyone knows I'm a retro gamer, and I went and bought the Midway Arcade Treasures 2, which has like, let's see what's on there, Pit Fighter, Rampage, Narc, Primal Rage, Gauntlet, Future Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, Narc and more! Yeah, it has a lot of different games on there, but, uh, Jesus, here's a list of them if you guys want to see. Probably pause that or whatever if you want to just check them all out. But anyways, yeah, there's a lot of fun little games on that. And it has the new Rampage. Rampage, uh, I think it's World Tour, so 
you actually get to use Ralph, <laughs> which is the wolf. Uh, next, uh, this is another one we got from my girlfriend, uh, The Sims Busting Out. She likes The Sims games a lot, so, uh, we got that for her. Uh, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. I think this was a random, uh, I'm just gonna pick this up and see what it's like. And I got so far in it, and then I just got bored. <laughs> to be, you know, perfectly honest. Uh, next we have The Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, definitely a fun game. I think this is the racing one, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That, oh no, this one's got kind of everything, and you can run around and stuff. It's kind of like GTA, but with The Simpsons. Um, but yeah, you usually just take your own car, not everybody else's. So I guess it's not completely like GTA. Um, <laughs> Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I uh, haven't played too much of this one either, and uh, I don't know. I got so far into it, and I just it just felt like everything was getting kind of repetitive. So I, I just stopped playing it. Uh, Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I was a really big Bam Margera fan. I love the Jackass thing uh, and all the stuff he did with CKY and the CKY videos kind of thing. And uh, uh, yeah, I went and got this game, and this is one the one that actually got me good at the Tony Hawk games because before I sucked balls playing those games, and after I got this one, I. I got really good at the game and yeah uh, I'm pretty sure a hundred percent of that as well uh, up next we have Super Monkey Ball and this is a weird but fun game the mini games in it are really unique like you aim at targets and stuff let's see what we got monkey bowling monkey billiards monkey golf monkey target that's the one you, you fly out there and then you just Close yourself up and try to cl uh, like land it, obviously, as close to the middle as you can. Then there's Monkey Race, Monkey Fight, and I'm pretty sure there's a few other games on there as well, like mini games. Plus, there's a main game where you go through like uh, level after level after level. Here's another one uh, we got from my girlfriend Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. I haven't played this one myself, and I've heard a lot of people say that Harvest Moon can be really fun and really addictive once you actually figure out how to play it and get into it well enough. Here's one I have played, and again, another one that we originally got from my girlfriend because, you know, she wanted to check out and see what it was like, and yeah, the Animal Crossing series is fucking addictive, my god. I don't know, just the whole thing of like, catching bugs, catching fish, uh, digging up fossils, talking to people, trading stuff, putting on different clothes, going to town, uh, just, I don't know, everything about it is just fun and addictive. It's, again, it's really closely compared to Harvest Moon, apparently, uh, for, like, addictiveness. So, and if I like Animal Crossing that much, I should like um, Harvest Moon that much. Uh, I'm a pretty big fan of the fighting games. Um, as you can see here, Soul Calibur 2. I love Soul Calibur series. It's so much fun. I like everything about it, to, you know. Uh, what can I say? It's just fun. <laughs> uh, this one obviously has a uh, link in it. I'm pretty sure one had... Uh, I think it was Spawn was in the PlayStation version or something. But yeah, it's a fun game. Next, we have Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. And again, I, I love fighting games, but not only that... Ooh, shiny. Look at the holographicness. Uh, but also, I love the Dragon Ball series. Uh, every one of them, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, uh, I think that's it. <laughs> but yeah, I do love this, all the series, is, is, is. and uh, this was a fun game, because you get to go through the storyline all the way up to Boo, and you get to use a lot of characters, there's a lot of stuff you unlock. Some of the stuff, it can be hard and difficult to find and get, but uh, yeah. Again, another fun game. Uh, I mean, most of my games I don't buy because, oh, look at this, it's a shitty game, let's get it. No, I just buy something that looks like I would play, usually. Uh, next we have SSX on tour, which, uh, mm, not as good as the other SSX games, in my opinion, but I didn't play it that much, so, you know, maybe I just made a quick thought about it and, you know, and just said, you know, this is all I think about it. I, you know, I didn't give it a thorough review is what I'm trying to say, fuck. Uh, I wish it wasn't so early, but whatever. Uh, this is a fun game, though. Whoa, what? 
Okay, I did not see that until now, and I've had this game for like fucking years now. Now that I know that Mario, Peach, and Luigi are in it, uh, I'm gonna start playing this because I want to unlock them and I want to have fun. So, I'm gonna go. Oh, God, that's so awesome. Okay, now I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'm definitely gonna re review that. And next is SSX Tricky. It's the very last game that I have here. Um, I probably have some otherware. Some otherware. I have probably have some other games elsewhere, but uh, who knows? Um, yeah, next is SSX Tricky, and uh, I played this a lot. Um, I haven't really 100%ed it because I haven't unlocked everything and gotten everything for everyone, but I should because, well, one, it's fun, and two, it doesn't hurt the 100% stuff. But anyways, this video is 10 minutes. Jesus, I didn't expect it to be this long, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing that. That's my GameCube collection. So, you know, like I said, I'm going to record all of the uh, collections I have because I know you guys think that I'm just a retro gamer, but I do have new games, too. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm the Old World Gamer, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.